Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and today I have a Dollar Tree haul for you. Um, but first my tea, I've got some Berries tea from Ireland. Um, it is an import. I get it on iHerb and I love it. This is, um, no, I'm lying. This is not Berries tea. This is Bigelow Salted Caramel. I must be crazy today. Mmm, it's equally delicious. So we have some tea and a cat. Here, let's put this up here, buddy. It's a problem, sir. What can I help you with? All right. Went to the Dollar Tree. I'm not gonna lie, this might be my last, my last Dollar Tree haul for a little while. I'm, a, I'm just getting a little anxious, um, you know, with the coronavirus and all of that. So I just feel like, Potentially, we'll just kind of steer clear, but don't worry. I've got plenty of content. I'm going to clean my craft room this weekend, and then I'm going to have all kinds of DIYs for us. But I think I'm going to avoid the Dollar Tree just for a little while till things settle down. Um, and then I did have some questions. Sir, will you lay down? Thank you. Some questions on the books behind me. So the stack has my Happy Planner. Um, it's not a planner. It's a notebook. It's, I treat it more like a bullet journal. It's YouTube stuff, charts, graphs, things like that. So there's that. Oops, I'm sorry. Can you get down? Thank you. I have my etiquette book uh, by Emily Post. I don't even know. Oh, and there's mail in here. I don't even know what the... I'm looking for the publication date on this, and I don't know. 1942 is the copyright. I picked this up, I don't know, I think it might have been a library sale or something. It is so fascinating. I read this on occasion just to see what life was like in the 40s. I love this book. Um, so it's, uh, the latest edition of the blue book of social, uh, the blue book of social usage by Emily Post. I love it. So that sits behind me. And then I have my copy of Michelle, Becoming Michelle Obama that I read. Hi. All right. He's been kind of in a funk lately. Tomorrow. So today's Friday, the 13th. And my black cat tomorrow wellington turns 12. it's his birthday and it's his actual birthday i got him when he was six weeks old from my friend trudy um she had a litter of kittens and i adopted him from her and it was he was born on march the 14th so that's pretty cool right dubs can you go find something to do for a little bit now I brought him home and he fit in the palm of my hand. Okay, go ahead. His mama kitty was uh, Siamese and the daddy kitty, we think, from, there was a neighborhood black tom cat, black and white tuxedo print, and he obviously picked up that. All right, so we went, we went, I went to the Dollar Tree. I did need a couple things, but I'm fully stocked up. I hit Costco last night on my way home from work wasn't too bad it was busy as all get out but everybody was kind of subdued and it was really quiet but there was a few things I forgot so I went to the Dollar Tree tonight I needed aluminum foil this is um, 18 inch and it fits a half sheet pan perfectly when I, cause I bake my bacon so I like to have and this, they're heavy duty. It's not really heavy duty, but it covers my entire sheet pan. And so it's great for cleanup. So I use that on, on that. Now I'm just digging. Um, I picked up two cans of instant, two jars of instant coffee to dye fabric for my cross stitching. I picked up at Hobby Lobby some even weave to start a project and I'm coffee dyeing it right now. And the instant coffee, if you're interested in coffee or tea dyeing anything, I take it and I add like drops of water to time and make a paste and I painted it on. So I have that um, just to keep in my craft stash because I finished the jar that I had. I'm gonna put my receipt away. That's what I use this for. I need to actually, while I'm home this weekend, because I'm staying in, um, 
I need to pull February out of here and put it in my file folder behind me by month and then I calculate everything out. It just makes it easier come end of year. I picked up some more of these sponges. I like the larger ones for certain things, but um, these are also good for coffee and tea dyeing if you make the paste. I didn't want to take these out because I hadn't made the video, so I used my pastry brush and it's fine. But these are great to have on hand for a dollar. I found that I haven't used it, but I'm so curious. This is Nail Aid Spray Away Acetone Spray Nail Polish Remover. What? It's in an aerosol can, guys. Um, the brand. Oh, it was tested on humans, never on animals. That's great. It says spray on cotton ball or pad until saturated. Press over nail. Swipe the cuticle to tip. Wash hands thoroughly after use for best results. Oh, Nail Aid must be the brand. That was my oven coming to temperature. So I grabbed two just to try. I was actually out of nail polish remover. So I thought, hey, how fun is this to try? We'll see. So I grabbed two of those. I picked up a peep slip balm for me to use at Easter time because well, everybody needs a lip balm in their life. Uh, this is strawberry marshmallow cream in case anybody's interested. And these would be adorable for any Easter basket. Um, but I just got one for me. Sarah has plenty. And speaking of Sarah, I got some candy for her basket, but I also picked up these for a coworker. I'm going to take them out of this package and put them in her Easter treats that I got her. And this is salted caramel Milky Ways. How fun is that? And you get six of them, which will be a perfect little office gift. I know she loves the caramel chocolates. And then for Sarah, I, and I've seen the, I have other ones of these, but I grabbed her her own bag of the Tootsie Roll eggs that are candy coated. Here, I'll take out and show you what they look like because this bag is for her. And because of the current state of affairs in this world, prepackage is the way to go. So in, I'm not sure if you can see this, but it's candy coated and they're egg shaped and then on the inside is Tootsie Roll. So I grabbed a bag of those. I grabbed her some pink Starburst and I'll open these up and I'll show you what all this is going in. And then a small bag of Hershey Kisses. Now, and I've said this before and I'll say it again. If you're buying candy for multiple children, family, friends, this is not the most cost effective way to go. I'm buying these things for one child. She's not a child. She's more than eight. But I love her. And Sarah's my niece. Everybody asks. She's my niece. Um, anyway, this is for her basket. And so I just need small portions for her. So those will be perfect. I found... This is fun. When I open up all those blind bags, we're going to open up one of this. And one of this. Girl, get your life together. One of these. This is a mold and play 3D figure maker. So it's Anna, Anna, Anna from Frozen 2. It comes with two colors of dough and a mold to shape her body. I highly doubt she's going to look like that, but we're going to take this out and test it soon because I have all of those blind bags too. So we'll just, that's probably going to be next week when I don't go to the Dollar Tree. So I picked that up to try. I picked up some of this moss, which is super messy, just for the record. But I'm making that topiary video this weekend for next week, and I needed the moss. So if you want to do what I'm doing, and this, at springtime, this is not easy to come across. So if you see it, grab it. It lasts, but I love the verdant green. It's very spring green. And there's a lot in here, just for the record. So I grabbed that because I don't think I had any left from last year. I don't know why I have two receipts when I went, did I go to two stores? I must have went, I went to two stores on my way home tonight. Um, I grabbed this for me and I will show you what it does. It is a LED magnifying glass. Um, so it lights up and it magnifies. And when you have glasses, 
and you're trying to do cross stitch. So it's a magnifier, right? But then watch, it lights up. So it will light my pattern or my work and I will be able to see what I'm looking for. Isn't that genius? The only thing that would make it better is if it had a thing to hang it on and I could wear it around my neck, but it doesn't, but that's okay. So it lights up. I've never seen these in there before and that's not to say they've never had them before. I've just never seen it. Um, and it is, it's a Greenbrier product and that's what the packaging looks like. And it just says on the outside, LED with light. Magnifier with light. So I grabbed that because I need that, right? Right. I picked up in the blind section, the Build It Blocks. Now this is Dollar Tree brand and they're zombies, like little Lego people. Now you don't know what three zombies you get, I don't think. Maybe you do. I don't know. But I grabbed this package that has three zombies in it. We're gonna open that up and play with that. And then I grabbed the trolls. I feel like at this point, I have all the blind bags I have come across, so we're getting close to do opening all that up. Then I just have a couple more things. I found these, pom-pom magnets. What? Aren't these cute? Should we open them? Sure, they're mine. Open them. Oh, they're super soft. Oh, I like this a lot. Oh, yeah, see? The magnet is that's this is pretty nice quality. The magnet's back here. That's your pom pom. Look how bright that is. This would be fun in an Easter basket, too. And the purple. And this is like bluish blue color. How cute are these on a bulletin board? These also would make a great Easter basket for a little girl, for sure. I mean, they're not like super strong magnets, but they'll stick. I don't know if they would hold anything up, but they would stick. Super cute. I can't wait to put them on my bulletin board upstairs when I clean my craft room this weekend. It's getting clean. Here's the thing. My work is preparing us to work from home. I'm on the business continuity team at the bank I work for, and we're having lots of dialogue and conversations about what happens if somebody gets sick or, you know, the governor shuts us down or we have to go work from home or it becomes safer to work from home. Fine. My craft room is my office and it's a disaster and I would not be able to function in there until I clean it. So this weekend, I just have to clean it so I can work in there if we get sent home to work. I mean, I do, we all have, I have a laptop. They're outfitting the rest of our team with laptops. Actually, I think every employee in the bank, not branches, but at the, you know, in the ops centers where we work, are getting laptops, I think, so we can work from remotely. Not necessarily from home, but remote. Okay, I've got a couple more items. I picked up this arrow. It's a wooden arrow. Um, if you see my shirt, I ride. This is Pelotonia. It is a um, grassroots bicycle ride that takes place every year in August. And we raise money to, for the James for cancer research. I think last year they raised 20, or we raised $24 million. And I think we're upwards of 125 million in the last 12 years. Um, this is my 10th year riding and I, all the money that the riders raise go directly to Pelotonia. So there's no monies that are get taken out for the foundation. Um, local businesses support the foundation. We riders raise money for, um, cancer research. So the, their logo, if you will, is an arrow. And so I'm gonna paint this for this year and put it on my desk at work. I'll put something Pelotonia on it. When I do my fundraising, I can hang this. And the arrow always goes right because you're moving forward. Something I'm very proud of and um, I'm trying to figure out a fundraiser. So like if you donate 
to my rye because I will see it I will know who you are then I need to come up with a giveaway so I'm thinking that would be fun and if you don't already have something that you donate to this could be a good cause or if you do have something you donate to no big deal but you know everybody's likely to want something to donate to in life and I have a good cause okay now the last thing I picked up for Sarah and that's why all the candies are gonna go in look at these eggs they're little chicks let's see okay hi buddy uh, I can't take them out but they are two pieces they're egg shaped and they stand up and this is <laughs> this is the chick and then they also had a blue bunny no a blue something I did bunny maybe but I didn't care for that and then they have carrots so I'm gonna put some of those candies and a couple of these and just stick them in her Easter basket because they're cute and then for me for my desk at work what I might do is just fill them with um, shredded papers or tissue paper or something and put them on my desk since I don't really need candy so that is everything yep that's everything that I purchased today at the Dollar Tree like I said I'm gonna try real hard to avoid the Dollar Tree for a little while but we'll do some crafting and maybe more vlogs um so hang on with me it'll get better we just kind of got to get through this but i really 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 don't want to uh be out and about and put myself at risk in my family so i think the best thing to do is follow the directive of social distancing and we can weather this together and we will have fun i will come up with some fun stuff for us to do all right, everybody. Well, for today, enjoy the Dollar Tree haul and have a good one. Bye.